Hi everyone, my name is Lauren Collins and I'm a pelvic health physical therapist. Um, today I wanted to talk a little bit about how now that we're all on this quarantine, um, it could be a really good time to work on some intimacy um, with pelvic floor issues. But I do want everyone to put in some earbuds right now because it may be some personal information uh, that we're going to talk about and I don't you know, know if you necessarily want everyone in your household to hear the information. So I'll give you a few seconds. Go grab your earbuds, okay? We'll just kind of chat. I hope everyone's doing well, staying healthy, staying safe, staying in your house, washing your hands. Um, they are recommending wearing um, masks right now for everyone. So uh, if you have something at home to do that with, uh, then that's great. Or making your own mask or scarf would be a great idea. So you can try any of those methods if you have to go outside. And remember to keep your distance safe six feet away from everyone. Okay, so now that everyone has um, their earbuds in, hopefully we're gonna talk a little bit about, about pelvic floor issues. And now that you're at home by yourself, I jotted down some notes, so I'm gonna maybe read from here a little bit. So just excuse me if I'm reading um, just a little bit. Um, but if you're a person who has pelvic floor dysfunction or pelvic pain um, and you're at home with your partner, and now would be a good time to kind of work on some of those intimacy issues that you may have. Um, a great time to work on also activities like exercising together as a family, those kinds of things. Um, and for those people working on intimacy issues surrounding pelvic floor pain, here are some tips that I have. Again, excuse me for reading, it's just I want to remember everything that I was thinking about. Um, so there are other, uh, other ways to be intimate uh, other than uh, a penetrative intercourse. Um, and other ways to be intimate um, as an adult consenting couple are, um, can include touching and caressing other areas of the body or externally at the perineum uh, genital area. Uh, if it is tolerated and with lubrication, there's also kissing, holding and snuggling. Um, you can read a book together while snuggling or watch a movie together while snuggling. Um, let your imagination kind of go free. These are all uh, some good things you can do to work on it. Also, if you already have started a pelvic floor uh, program, physical therapy program, now would be a good time as long as you're comfortable with it and have some time and, and can kind of slow down and not have the stresses of getting in and out every day. You can work with your partner on um, some of the exercises that you maybe were instructed on by your pelvic health PT. Uh, some stretching exercises, some um, internal trigger point releases and, and muscle overactivity releases, things like that. Um, the other thing I want to talk about is that not everyone who's at home with their partner are safe. Uh, and so for those individuals, I want to give you um, a few strategies for being at home, but also give you the number to the National Domestic Violence Hotline so that you can contact that hotline where they can also process strategies for you. And so that number is, one second, the number to the National Domestic uh, Violence Hotline is 1-800-799-7233. Again, 1-800-799-7233. So if you are at home in an unsafe condition, then give them a call so they can help you uh, strategize what you can do to stay safe. Um, but here are some other tips that I can give you. Uh, I, am, uh, I am a person who works with survivors, and so these are some of the things that I would tell the people that I work with. Uh, know what local programs are open and available for you to go to if necessary. Um, the National Domestic Violence Hotline can also give you indications on what those places are. Um, have all necessary relevant documents stashed somewhere where you can easily grab them and get out of the house if you need to. This includes things like your birth certificate, social security card, some cash if you have it, any medical records, things like that. Just all bundled up someplace where you can have it stashed. Um, the other thing that would be good to do is you know you and your partner's relationship and not that abuse is tolerated in any ways. You, you, you know how to best stay safe in your own environment. So do your best to um, to react in a way that will afford you time to be able to get out if necessary, okay? So I hope everyone is at home taking care of themselves and staying safe um, and uh, healthy, okay? I will see everyone soon. Uh, have a great day. All right, love and blessings. Bye, everybody.